Okay, you can see we've got the back end of the bike apart. Uh, we had the wheel out. The bearings are okay, but it would be false economy not to put some, some bearings in there. The ver at the very least, I'd have to wash out the old grease and repack them. And uh, really, new bearings are just as cheap. Um, I've had the swing arm out. Um, need to look at the, the the swing arm and the pin are soaking in my degreasing tank, and we'll um, we'll see whether I can get away with reusing the um, the pin and just put new bushes in the swing arm. Um, the swing arm doesn't come out with the mud guard bolted in. You have to remove that mount bolt up there and that one down there and then you can spring the mudguard enough to uh, get that out um, there's something slightly odd going on with the uh, the front sprocket um, some of the teeth look hooked to me but they're hooked in the wrong domain, uh, direction so we'll uh, we'll whip that off there later and uh, clean it up and have a proper look and round on the other side we've had the clutch apart and as you can see that's not what you call a dry clutch it is distinctly damp um, now, I don't think it's coming from the big seal, and you can see just in there, you can see the, through the hole in the, uh, the basket, you can see the edge of the seal, it's the black ring, and that all appears to be dry back there. And I don't think it's this seal either. I think it's the clutch, clutch bush is not sealing to the um, gearbox input shaft. Um, that should have um, a smear of Hylomar to seal that sleeve to the, um, the shaft. Um, but you can't get that sleeve out um, very easily. So I've got to pull the clutch basket. Now to save the customer some money, um, so I don't have to remove the entire side case, I'm going to make up a, uh, a basket pulley tool that will locate in the, uh, the holes in the basket and allow me to, to separate the basket from the primary drive gear. Now the other thing um, which surprised me, and I don't recall seeing it um, before was the um, normally the nut that retains the clutch hub um, has a seal in it for the uh, the lifter um, but this one didn't and uh, I had another problem with the clutch so let's go and have a look at that too well there is the clutch hub and Again, confirming that the mileage is probably correct. There's, there's not a lot of wear on that uh, that hub. So there's your lifter mushroom, and there was the nut that was holding the basket on with its lock washer. And the lock washer had only been used once, so unless someone's had it apart and put a plain nut in, there was no seal and the thing you don't want to happen had happened and one of the nuts was seized onto the uh, the clutch and I couldn't get the uh, um, the stud out but at least it, it cooperated often what these do is they strip the thread in the hub or they strip the thread on the stud but the swaging on the back holds, 
so the, the stud just ends up rotating in the, the clutch hub and you can't get the clutch apart at all and uh, you end up having to drill down the centre of the stud just to get the clutch apart and uh, I'll probably have to make a new stud and uh, fit that into the hub you can see the uh, the ends pulled away there uh, apart from that the clutch again looks all quite good needs a clean up there's uh, there's a bunch of rust in there just surface rust uh, the ends of the uh, spring cups haven't spread which can happen on uh, older bikes and you, they they bottom in the basket and you end up with a slipping clutch even though the uh, the plates are in good condition so uh, I think that's probably going to be my next job is to make the uh, the puller tool and um, I'll do a little feature on that probably and apart from that it's making um, a parts list to order carburetor parts and uh, things like the the nut and uh, and seal so i need to start making a list